Hello everyone, I am Rezaya the Ravager, and today we'll be doing something a little bit different, at least for me. You know, I've always wanted to do one of these uh, Amnesia Let's Plays. This is where the whole Let's Play thing really blew up, isn't it? So uh, what, better, what better place to start, right? This is a custom story called Emma Story. Let's begin, shall we? You are Emma, daughter of esteemed scientist Dr. Robert Coleman. Ever since his discovery of the mythical Orb of Power, he has vanished, leaving you alone in the family estate. With strange things happening, you wonder what has happened to him. The story begins as you wake up in your room to find an ominous note from your lover. As you play, you will unravel Emma's story. Okay, that's uh, straightforward enough. Let's uh, hop right in, shall we? Let's uh, wake up bright and early and greet the day and whatever horrors may await us. I am sleeping standing up, apparently, uh, next to the bed. That is the healthiest way to sleep, in case you didn't know. Nothing in the closet. Get out of the way, chair. Here's a note. Dearest Emma, I don't know how this note will ever find you, but I am in trouble. I am currently in captivity. Placed here, I dare to say it, by your father. He has always been a bit off, but this time he most certainly has gone insane. I have never seen him like this before. I believe it to be related to that object, the Orb of Power, that he found while on his latest trip out of the country. It has somehow changed him. I know he keeps it in a secret room of his in his lab. At all costs, you must locate this orb and destroy it. Only then should your father return to normal. Please be careful, but make haste. Remember, find the lab and destroy that orb. Your lover, Neil. Yeah, okay, that's great. Uh, are you going to help me out at all? No? Okay, fine. Uh, that's exactly what I expected. I don't know why I thought I would get anything more. Did I get anything in... Yeah, okay. Peter box, oil, and shirts. But no pants. You know, no one ever has any pants in this universe. I don't know why. That's uh, some hidden in-universe lore, perhaps, that we've never discovered the reason for. Yeah, this is a pretty nice house. You know, we got a ticking clock that is permeating the atmosphere and a wine bottle. Hello. Smash. Let me smash. Yeah, come on, Emma. Yeah. <sighs> to be fair, Daniel's about as weak. Is there anything under? No, okay. Well, then let's get going into this very long hallway. This is kind of weird. You know, the, the big room was okay, but this is... I should explore this floor first before leaving. Okay. I'm going to share. Yeah, th this is just one environment that does not particularly make sense. Uh, I don't know if it was really this, this fellow's first attempt at, uh, at a level, but uh, some of the best modders out there will tell you Never design your first level first, because that's that's the thing that you're using to introduce the player to your story. Can I break this? Boop. Ah, boop. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> there was a hammer here. I, I totally missed that. A lot of them. This letter is to congratulate Dr. Robert Coleman on his invention of lot of Batman. Your invention heals all ailments and feels so good when used. For this, we award you this certificate. Congratulations, and keep up the good work. Signed, Neville Worthington. Right, yeah, okay. I guess all the money for this, uh... Wait a minute. Where? <laughs> I just had a, a sense of deja vu walking into this room. It looks a lot like the other one, doesn't it? Just right down to the shirts in the drawers. And the shirts in the... Or, or chest in the closet. What's this doing here? Well, it has a key, so, uh... I have stashed an extra supply of tinder boxes and a lantern in the storage closet adjacent to this room in case of emergencies. If it is locked, which it should be, use this key to gain entry. Thank you. I, I guess all the money for the whole laudanum thing uh, just went into the pointlessly long hallway, right? Like, like, listen to this. You know, there are birds outside, trees out... Oh. <laughs> There's a literal skybox out there! Come on, game, I'm trying to compliment you. <sighs> See, it's it's the chirping birds, it's the ticking cl clock, it's stuff like that that builds atmosphere. It's the subtle details. But then you got the pointlessly long hallway, you got the, uh... This is the literal skybox. 
And that's how you know it's uh, not necessarily his second or third effort making a... Oh. That's not real. That's not real. Come on, open up. Come, come on. What's up? <laughs> there we go. It was a pull door. I thought it was a... I mean, it was a push door, not a, not a pull. And hello, note. Nothing here. To Dr. Coleman. Hello, Robert. I had that key to that metal door on the second floor created today. Should arrive within the week, probably longer knowing our parcel service. Do be careful in that room now. We don't want any more blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Your friend, Braxton Archer. Someone died. The end. <laughs> that's, that's basically all the note says. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, gee, we'd better go investigate that metal door then. Not this door. This is broken. Uh... The metal door down this incredibly long hallway, but first, this appears to be the... Yeah, I do have the key for this room. This... Yes, it's the storage room. The only other uh, room in here. There is a lantern, finally, so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Tinderbox, tinderbox, tinderbox. But how much do you want to bet they're not going to give us enough candles to actually use their tinderboxes? Or at least not enough good candles. You know, uh, something about... Oh, hey, up here. Boop! No, come on! Bop! There we go. You know, something about tinderboxes and candle placement, it's really hard to do right, to be fair. Uh, candles are best placed uh, where you, you'll need to open up some stuff or at the end of a long hallway so you can mark your place. Uh, they're really useful in a labyrinth and... Okay, what's going on in here? What's going on in here? There are just some chairs and armor statues and... Oh! <laughs> uh, no, 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 thank you. Just some guy T posing and uh. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Stop it. That's not funny. Out of here. Out of this house. And I am out of here. No. No. No, please. No. No. Stop it. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> I refuse to entertain that notion any longer. I think we've done plenty of exploring here, so let's uh, get the hell into the main hall. Somehow I knew that cursed orb would come back to haunt me. Why well, didn't he even try to warn me, or at least prepare me for this? Well, I don't know. How do you prepare someone for moving armor statues? Huh. This is pleasantly... Can I go back? No, it's blocked by something. Probably by... An armor statue, to be fair. And this room is dark. <laughs> uh, were there any windows in the previous room? I mean, there are windows here, but the curtains are shut. Flower pot. Boop. Pop. Cup. There we go. Boil. Tinderbox. And uh, I've got a, I've got a decent amount of oil. Date missing. Can't believe he's dead. I'm gonna miss him playing on that piano at dinner time. It just won't be the same. Or I must admit, as nice of a fellow as he seemed, I could not help but sense some deep anger or hatred with him against his house. Blah blah blah. Someone got killed while lighting it out. Ooh. Stuck shut. Nothing behind the painting. Oh, the piano is playing. So spooky. So very, very spooky. And we're gonna go in that room and we're going to uh, see the ghost. As soon as I figure out how to get below this, uh, balcony here. Here we go. We'll just bunny hop over to this uh, staircase and we'll hop on down. Up. No, come on. And 360. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> my my fragile feminine legs. The lock they had. The key has to be around here somewhere. Doors are sealed shut. So this is not the room with the giant chandelier up top. I mean the other room, the one with the the, the dining room. Uh. <laughs> no. It seems to be locked from the other side. Let's uh, let's just be be careful about this, because I do not want to get my face eaten. Thank you. My pretty feminine face. 
It won't budge. Okay, so, ah, here we go. All the doors were, ah, flower pot. All the doors were locked, so it was wine bottle. Squirrel, butterfly. <laughs> oh, wait, where'd it go? Did you guys see that? I swear it, it vanished. Well, oh, there's another one right here. Flower pot. Perfect. <laughs> you know, part of the fun of amnesia, nothing under here, is uh, it's just running around and breaking everything. You know, you gotta grab everything that you can. You look for anything that glows blue. Flower pot. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been funny if it actually worked? And part of the fun is just going around and finding everything, but look at this. It's also just fun to just chuck everything around. Uh, what was that? Oh, the thing closed. Okay, well, whatever. This is the way out of here, if I'm not mistaken, right? And nothing in here, and there is a large... Oh! <laughs> no! Stop that! Well, uh, at least you opened the closet for me, so I did not have to check in there. Although there doesn't really appear to be much of anything around here right now. There is a desk over here, though, so... Key. Emma, my daughter, I am so sorry things turned out the way they did. And even more than that, I am forever sorry I never had the chance to explain everything to you. Explain why I disappeared. It was just never enough time. Not enough for my work, my friends, but most importantly, my family. And now, look where my work has gotten me. If you are reading this, then I am already gone. I had hoped you would get up the courage to enter this room, my private study, and eventually come across this note. If that is the case, then perhaps the day I have feared to come has already happened. If that object I found ever gets into the wrong hands, then the whole world as we know it could change forever. There is so much more I need to tell you, but of course, not enough time. My lab and secret room, you know the one, are downstairs and through the wine cellar. I admit, there may be things down it, you'll, there may be things you'll regret seeing down there, but it must be done. Emma, I'm not sure what the best course of action is. I have heard many great perils in destroying such an orb, yet I can already feel the changes taking place. Soon, I will no longer exist, so I write this with haste while I still can. In any event, you must retrieve that orb and keep it somewhere safe, where it cannot possibly get into the wrong hands. There's an item in the dining room you'll need in order to get to the wide cellar. Please be careful in there. Only God knows what I awoke into this estate when I found that object. Do take care of Neil. He's a good man for you. Be careful. Love. You father, Robert. Lo love your father. Okay, sure. Tinderbox. Maybe he's, uh... Maybe he's, he's just into slang at home, because uh, he's got to be professional out there in the workplace. Nothing behind the rug. Nothing behind the big box. And... Oh, come on! No. You're not going to cheat me, game. There we go. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the one that was blocked. Uh, oh, come on, that... Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's just have a quick look around. There's a closet in this room, so we can, we can hide whenever we want. I see a vase there, but I don't want to smash it that monster outside. Shirts. Nothing under the bed. Well, uh, thank you. Boop. <laughs> I guess he was just there to, uh, open the door for us. And hey, we have the key for this door now, so, uh, let's... Let's unlock this thing. So we can wander into this very dark, uh... Ah, come on, does every door have to do that to me? Well, whatever. Right about now is the time that I should probably call it quits. For now. So hey, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, check the description for more links, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!